Hi everyone, Doug Lugers, Lugers Real Estate Advisors, Jones & Company Realty. Excited to introduce you to this cool little restaurant that Lona and I found just a couple weeks ago. We happened to be driving through Cape Coral and uh, we stumbled across this cool bistro restaurant that uh, has just an amazing ambiance, great food, and an, just an awesome atmosphere. And so we wanted to take you on a tour of this place so you get to uh, experience it as well. So follow me. All right, we're here with three of the four owners of La Corte. Uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, introduce yourselves? Okay, uh, so I'm uh, Michael uh, Bovetti and it's my wife Sabrina. Uh, we're two of the owners, and uh, Traudi uh, <laughs> and her husband Marco. Uh, Marco had a previous appointment, so, so he couldn't be here. Uh, like Michael said, I'm Traudi, my husband is not here, but we are with Sabrina and Michael of uh, Thomas. And we are from Germany originally. Yeah, the, the interesting part I think is also funny. Uh, we have a three different accents. Eh? This is amazing also for the customer because, uh, of course, not only Americans come, but also people, uh, international people from different countries. And it's nice because, for example, Traude can speak a fluent French, German. I think uh, after another few months, also Italian. Because <laughs> sometimes I talk in Italian by mistake, but she can understand. I mean, uh, I'm an architect in Italy, interior decorative, uh, designer, and this is uh, part of my job. Um, and that's it. And we love people. I think uh, this is the, the secret for uh, uh, for the restaurant. Part of the reason that this partnership works so well is because it's such a good blend of uh, characteristics, uh, but also at a level where everybody gets along and appreciates the other's characteristics. So it's not a matter of, oh, do everybody do it the same way. Um, you know, we have the uh, Traudia and Sabrina are a little bit more creative and uh, detail oriented, so they look at all the details and uh, Marco and I are a little bit more on the business side and you know, so we try to balance things out a little bit from, the uh, from that side. Marco is very technical, handles a lot of the technical issues and knows the finance side fairly well. Uh, I know nothing about restaurants, but I've been learning. <laughs> but I, I know enough about business to, to pull all the pieces together and make it work. And it's actually been going really well because of that blend of personalities and, uh, and different characteristics. But also the international aspect of it that Sabrina mentioned. I'm obviously American from my accent, but Sabrina's from Italy, Claudia and Marco are from Germany. Uh, so we have the international components uh, but we only pick the good things of each place <laughs> and we make it all work together. So uh, when people come here, they, they feel that uniqueness because it, it is unique for those reasons, but it's also unique for a lot of other reasons. Sure. And the, the four components that we decided to put together to make this restaurant work are ambiance. Uh, and ambiance as you know, you look around and, you, and you, you see some of the areas, you'll see that it's a very unique ambiance. It's a very different characteristic from most places, especially for you know, Southwest Florida. It's not the type of place that you would normally see. So we did a lot of things to, to build up the courtyard and our front terrace and the fact that we have separate rooms that people can come in and have private parties and, and feel like they're in somebody's home as opposed to to being in a, uh, in a restaurant, just in a general restaurant. The second component is the, um, the cuisine, and you're gonna spend a lot of time with uh, Chef Nick, so I'm not gonna say too much about that other than to say the, the one thing I always insist on, and Chef Nick is very attuned to this, is that we have to get the highest quality ingredients. Uh, you can put together all the recipes and put it together the way you, know, you think is best, and he does an amazing job with that, but the ingredients have to be top-notch ingredients. That's the starting point. Uh, the third component is entertainment. Um, during season, we have live music every night. Uh, we have a front terrace where we have a stage with music. When it's a little quieter, we have the entertainment inside. And then the fourth component is service. We focus very, very heavily on service. We hire only people who we know will work well with the customers. 
uh, who are friendly, who know how to talk to the customer, who know how to feel out a situation because sometimes somebody wants a server who will spend time with them and talk to them and give them recommendations and other times people know what they want they don't yeah you know, they just want you to serve and be quiet and that's fine too whatever the customer wants and we get servers who know how to handle those situations can i jump just about the cuisine because uh, some people ask me oh it is interesting the combination german italian american different culture different culture and palette taste uh, honestly, I think uh, if someone uh, wants to have a completely different experience, because there are a lot of restaurants everywhere, I can invite them uh, to come to La Cuba. Because uh, the food is very unique uh, and we are, very, we are very picky about what Michael told already about the fresh, no frozen food at all. Everything has to be fresh and of course fresh food doesn't stay longer. No problem, we throw. I'm sorry, it's, sometimes it's a waste, I know, but we, we want to serve fresh, absolutely, absolutely fresh food. And the little cherry on top, I think, is the dessert. And Claudia can explain because she's amazing a baker. <laughs> so now, uh, uh, this is my part. No, it's not only my part. What I want to say is we are all on the same page. This is the most important thing. Yeah. In, in, I'm from Germany, Italy, Michael, America. Uh, America. <laughs> of course, we have to be um, uh, on the same page and we are on the same page. This is uh, the reason why uh, this restaurant is successful and uh, we want to keep this. Uh, and now about the desserts, yeah, I, I uh, used to cook for my family the whole life from scratch, so um, uh, I love doing this and our desserts are special because uh, I, uh, they are uh, fresh made from scratch and uh, unique, you will not find uh, the desserts like La Corte uh, anywhere. So and every what... day, every single morning. Yeah. She bake, I help. I can make it just a tiramisu, for example, because it's a typical Italian. But really, if people want to come just only for the ser, no problem. We can serve just the ser and a special coffee. Well, we do get. We do have people they come oh, yeah. only for a glass of wine or a piece of cake. But also we prepare for birthday, also for wedding cake because. Uh, you know, the classic uh, multi floor, I don't know how you say it, multi layer cake. Multi cake. <laughs> Sometimes uh, it's boring. Why don't try the super great and fresh uh, homemade dessert? Uh, what we really like here are the events oh. in our restaurant. We love to have parties, any kind of they parties, have a lot of fun. weddings, and uh, birthday parties, or anniversaries, or uh, this is when people, a lot of people in big groups come together and uh, this is a feeling that's amazing. So yeah. this is what we love. And, uh, so why did you all create the business to begin with? What, what brought you all together? Um, we've been friends for a few years now. Marco and Thradi were coming um, to Cape Cod on a regular basis from Germany for about six months at a time, sometimes more, sometimes less. And uh, we were friends and um, uh, Sabrina and I used to come to this restaurant uh, when it used to be Brew Baby. So yeah, we used to come on a regular basis. We always loved the, the location, we loved the place and, and the energy that it had. And uh, the opportunity came up where it was for sale and uh, we talked about it and said, why not? <laughs> it's a little different than what we all did, but uh, we all had enough skills that we thought we could pull it together. And, and now it's been a year, so we, we have a pretty good handle on uh, how everything works. And we have been extremely fortunate in that we have amazing staff. We really have some of the best staff, I think, in, in the entire area. Um, you know, sometimes I'll be hosting in front and I love when customers come in and they'll say, uh, you know, we'll say, well, where would you like to sit tonight? You know, because we have different aspects of the restaurant. They'll say wherever he's serving, wherever she's serving. And that tells me that that server did a great job the last time, so they want to work with him or her. 
Uh, so and that's very gratifying to see that you know the customers are coming back not just for the restaurant but they like the people who are here. And the same thing in the kitchen. We we don't tie Chef Nick's hands. We you know <laughs> we give him a reasonable leeway, but we do give feedback. You know we have uh, you know we've all traveled the world, so we know you know what's what. We have some ideas sometimes, and he's very good about accepting those ideas and then running with it. And he does an amazing job. Neat. So. Um... What experience are you hoping that customers walk away with most? That they had a fun, fulfilling night, or whatever it is they were looking for. If they were looking for a quiet, romantic night, I hope they walk away with feeling that they had a great, quiet, romantic night. If they want a night of fun for music and dancing out front, I hope they walk away feeling like they've had a great time. Uh, if they're here with friends and, and are looking to enjoy a nice meal. Yeah, because yes. for example, and this is happened a lot of time, a lot of friends that come, they want to stay in the VIP, they make a lot of fun, really, they play. It's like a house. And they invite me. Oh, why you don't play with us? I'm sorry, I have to work. <laughs> no, no, yes, shut the door and sit and play with us. It's amazing. And uh, what I like also, women. Oh my God, a lot of times they say, oh, thanks that you are uh, open this uh, fancy restaurant because like this uh, we can dress up. Amazing. And it, it's amazing when you see people super dress up with the heels come. I'm very proud, really. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, so I mean, we always say, you know, don't look at it as going out to eat, look at it as going for an experience. And that's why we're not very specific on the experience because it's different for different people. And the way the restaurant's laid out, you know, you could have, like I said, a romantic dinner, you could have an entertaining dinner, you can have a tranquil dinner in the courtyard, you can have a casual dinner on the bar side. It could be pretty much any kind of dinner you want or any type of experience you want. Um, and yeah, our job is to make sure you're getting it, whatever, whatever that is. So what do you find customers raving about the most? Every review, including the ones that were less than five stars, will always say the nicest ambiance they've ever seen. Every 100% of good and bad reviews say that. Um, almost all of them rave about the food. You know, there have been occasionally somebody didn't like something or they wasn't cooked their way or whatever. Yeah, and that's gonna happen when you're getting the kind of volume that we're getting. Um, and almost all of them will write about the service. So, yeah, we, we hit all three of those. The other one's 100% I will say is the ambiance. Nobody has ever come in, so I don't like the look of this place. That's never happened, but. Um, what, what's your favorite part of owning this restaurant? The people we meet. Um, the, the three of us are actually really good about the me less so, but Sabrina and Tali will talk to pretty much every customer that comes in. Uh, some more longer than others where I have to pull them away to do their job. But uh, <laughs> they will go around and talk to all the tables. And I'll do it occasionally, usually if I'm getting called or you know, or if there's a reason. I yeah, And I like talking to the customers, but usually I'm focused on so many things I forget to do it. But we met some amazing people that uh, from all over the world, uh, yeah. from all over the country and really great people. And yeah, and uh, I like the energy. It's like uh, uh, when you are, yeah, when you work in the theater, in the theater or in television, and there is uh, just a few minutes of the expectation, you know, when the, the red curtain open, this atmosphere before uh, the customers start to come in. And uh, what I like, uh, a very simple one when they come in here. Oh, this, uh, some customer copy also this wall. Uh, it's amazing. This is, uh, I think, is one of the best part. Uh, and talk with people. Honestly, I like this. This is this makes this restaurant is special. Yes, they love when we go around and talk to them. And uh, we know already a lot of people yeah. we met. <laughs> We have already a lot of friends. Yeah. We made made a lot of friends here at the restaurant and they are from all over the world. This is what I love because I I I love different languages, even if my English is not perfect, but uh, I love speaking different languages and I like different cultures. I like people from 
from everywhere and it's really very very nice and interesting and a lot of uh, different uh, nationalities are here so this is why uh, for me the first the, 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 bar, the, the barbecue restaurant in the area <laughs> Paul, well, why don't you tell uh, our audience, what is it that you do here at the court? Uh, I actually serve. I do a little bit of managing throughout the week, but mainly serve. Okay. Yeah, with a good service staff here at La Corte. I enjoy it thoroughly. Yeah, it's been nice since we've opened last October. Awesome. What do you enjoy most about La Corte? Well, uh, I, I think it's, uh, I've worked in a few other places before this in the restaurant industry, and I think this one sets itself aside because it's unique, you know, the way that it's ran and the, the clientele that comes in, all the customers. It's nice to see a customer come in and have a nice experience and then, you know, uh, seem genuinely gratified that they got to come and do that, you know, and being a part of that, you know, it's pleasing. Awesome. Got any cool stories to share with anybody about, you know, well, what, do, what do customers usually say about their experience? Well, they, they usually thoroughly enjoy it. I like it because we kind of do, uh, we try to make every single customer feel unique and have an actual experience. You know, you can go anywhere and just go out to eat and be served well, which I feel like we do to a T, but also the personalization to every customer that comes in, you can kind of feel them out, you know, and some of them are more talkative than others. Some of them are here for special occasions. So, you know, we do a lot of anniversaries. You know, people want to come out and they, we've had 50th wedding anniversaries, you know, um, a bunch of uh, uh, over and over again people do, doing anniversaries but they want to feel special when they come in and we we cater to them and uh, most of them leave here very happy I would say I would say all of them <laughs> all right yeah well, what is what's your favorite dish oh on the menu I'm actually a big fan of the salmon yeah and the scallops I'm a seafood guy but you know that comes with being in Florida, it's easy to get addicted to seafood. So, so that's the one you highly recommend? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, the lamb rack, if you're gonna go meet the filet or the lamb rack are, are top notch also. Oh, okay. so absolutely. All right, yeah. well, thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you. Hi Terry, why don't you uh, tell our audience, what is it you do here at the Porte? I'm a server okay. here at the restaurant. How long have you been with the Porte? Since we opened last September. Oh, awesome, okay. Um, and uh, why did you choose to work here? I think that Michael and Sabrina and uh, Trouty and Marco are wonderful to work for, and I love the atmosphere and the food. Okay, the atmosphere and the food and, and the ownership, All right? Okay, cool. And uh, what is what is uh, your favorite dish? I'm gonna have to say probably uh, the rack of lamb. The rack of lamb. Okay. Very very good. So you highly recommend that. I do. Why? It's delicious. <laughs> it's delicious, okay. All right, well, thanks for your time. Thank you very much. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm Vincent Ganji. I work here at La Corte Bistro. It's a semi-casual, fine dining restaurant here in Cape Coral. And uh, why do people, do most of your customers come in here to the bar? It's a little more casual over here. I mean, not everyone in Cape Coral is, um, you know, sometimes the white tablecloths scare people away. So they come to the bar, they have a little more casual, they, a little, I mean, this has like a New Orleans feeling here, you know, it's, you can't get this in too many places. You definitely can't get a bartender like me anywhere. So, <laughs> so but that's besides the point. This is like, a, a, the feeling here is awesome. It's just, you know, relaxed. You know, you get to look at the kitchen, open kitchen. You come in here, I make you great drinks. It, the delicious desserts, you get to conversate with other people at the bar. We get a great crowd of people here. It's not like, um, we get a little bit of an older crowd that really knows what they like and knows what they don't like in places and restaurants and service and things like that. So, I mean, it's just really, you can't beat La Corte Bistro for atmosphere and experience wise. Great, and, and what is your favorite drink? Or what's your claim to fame? I mean, pretty much whatever the person desires. I mean, I'll make whatever, like, whatever the person desires, that's like my claim to fame. I do all my drinks well, but I, my favorite drink to make, I mean, I like to make espresso martinis, old fashions, Manhattans, martinis. Um, I focus more on the higher, the, the better drinks. Like, I like to have someone come in and have a great drink and enjoy it, even though that it might not be what they're used to. I want to have them a little change, you know, try something new. Go out on the go out on the limb and try something new. And I mean that's really it. Here with Chef 
Nick, Chef Nick, how long have you been with uh, the Corten? I've been with the Corten now for the past uh, five months. Awesome, and what's your favorite part about working here? My favorite part about working here is just the, the overall experience, like, you know, making sure the guest though, succeeds their expectations at all times. You know, between the food, the ambiance, the front of the house, the owners, making sure we're always greeting the guests in a loving way, producing the best food possible, and always making sure they leave with a smile on their face. It's probably the best thing. All right. So what, so what, uh, tell us about your favorite dish. Well, one of my favorite dishes here is uh, our fresh pasta. We do handmade pasta here daily. Um, we do tagliatelles, pappardelles, gnocchis, uh, we, we, every shape you can think of, even tortellinis. I'm gonna get back here, start heating up a saute pan, and I'm gonna start cooking up one of our most popular dishes. This is called what? This is to all the fresh tagliatelle pasta, which we make by hand in house. And I'm gonna cook it with a bolognese sauce, which is basically all our meats. I use fillets, New York's, lamb, pork, veal. Grind that up, I cook it down in red wine for about four, four hours or so, and then I cook it down in my homemade tomato sauce, which is called pomodoro. I cook all that down and make a beautiful, beautiful meat sauce. I don't like calling it that, it's called bolognese. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think I could say that, so I'm going to go with meat sauce. She's going to go with meat sauce. <laughs> Put a little oil in the pan to start. Followed by a little garlic. This is our bolognese here. So tell us, is it, this is obviously an Italian dish? Or? Yeah, yeah. This is this is an Italian dish, an Italian meat sauce. What they, what they, the whole concept of this is reusing product. So what we do, you know, like I said, we use reuse our pork, our uh, our beef, when we butcher our fillets, or our New Yorks, or our lambs. We're repurposing all the meat, so nothing goes to waste. And it's very important in cooking to be as creative and, as possible, so nothing ever goes to waste. Okay. We're gonna drop our tagliatelle in the water because it's fresh pasta. It only takes a few moments. Basically, the clothes starts floating, usually about 60 seconds. So, I, this is your favorite dish. What do the customers end up ordering the most, do you think? Um, our most popular dish would be either our pasta biscotta, which is our seafood pasta with lemon butter sauce, marzipan, or uh, probably our lamb rack, which is like encrusted with a parcellated crustman, um, which is has a little bit of a bite to it, served with a veal stock demi glaze and the veg of the day, which we try to change up every day. So every day it's a little bit different veg. We have fresh specials every day. So you're always getting something a little different. Nice. All right, so what we're doing here, you saw we took it out of the, out of the water. It's, it's key to finish cooking your pasta in the sauce. You never you want to cook about 50% of the water, 50% of the sauce. One big mistake people make when they're making pasta is at home, you think about it, you make pasta and you make a sauce, and then you put the sauce on the pasta. And then at the end, you eat all the pasta, you have a bunch of sauce in the bowl. That's not how you're supposed to serve pasta. You're supposed to, every bite is supposed to have an equal amount of sauce. You're supposed to emulsify them together. That's why we cook them together. So when you're finished, there's nothing left in your bowl. So, sorry, you have to eat your bread dry. <laughs> so, any any potential visitors that are thinking about coming here, what would you want them to know? I would want them to be adventurous. And that's the one thing I can say, is here we try to push the palate and do creative things. So don't come in here. I mean, we have phenomenal steaks, probably the best meat you can get in the area. But if you come in here and have our steak, have our lamb, try some things, and then next time try something different. Because we're always trying to create new things, especially the specials, they're always very creative. All right, at this point, we're gonna try to kill our heat. We made it nice and creamy using the butter. I'm gonna add a little Parmesan on Finish it up with a little parsley. That would be great. Bolognese here at La Corte Bistro. Beautiful. 
So Michael, thank you so much for giving us a tour of your wonderful restaurant, La Porte Cordova Bistro. It's uh, an amazing environment. I can't say enough about it, and I'm glad that we get the opportunity to, to tell everybody about it. So, uh, how does how does our customers or anybody that's thinking about coming here? How do they get a hold of you or look up your restaurant? Well, thank you, Doug. I, yeah, I appreciate you guys coming here and uh, getting the word out for us. So thank you. Uh, but the best way to contact us is. Uh, you can uh, go to our website, uh, and it's lacortebistro.com. Uh, so it's L-A-C-O-R-T-E bistro.com. Our email is also lacortebistro at gmail.com. Uh, or you can call us on the phone, 239-542-2224. Any of those ways you can get a hold of us, uh, make reservations, uh, or just call to chat. Thank you. And uh, you can also look on DougAndLona.com and we'll post some more information on our blog post there. But if you're thinking about buying, selling, or you just have questions about the real estate market here in Southwest Florida, go to DougAndLona.com or give us a call at 239-398-3131. 239-398-3131. Thank you so much for your time and thanks for watching. Thank you.